Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. We are in the middle of the second procedure. Those who did it yesterday are following it until the end of the day, or until the end of the hour they lit the candle and carried out the procedure. Today I was going to start the third one, but I'm not going to. Today I'm going to do a big overview, because a lot of people are coming in now, watching the videos, and are not understanding anything at all. So this video will be an explanatory video, as if it were a big summary of what we've done so far. My proposal with all these procedures is the mental, emotional and physical treatment of all of you. As you know, to enter the fifth dimension, you have to have your hearts pure, from any and all low vibrational feelings. So tell you, from one moment to the next, look, you have to delete everything that's in there. No one will make it. So, the idea is to take some actions that help you free yourself from these feelings, little by little, bringing to light things that you have to deal with. And that's what I'm doing with these procedures. What is the objective of the first? The first was a series of initiatives for the others. I asked you to make a list of all those in your family by blood, up, to the sides, and down. After you made this tree with your family members, you would take each one of these, and place everyone who lives in the house with each one of them. No one has yet understood why, and they won't understand any time soon. I just started a procedure that you will do later. So, make a small drawing. Put yourself, everyone in your family on top mothers, fathers, grandparents, uncles, who are of your blood, to the side, your brothers and downwards, your children, your grandchildren, your nephews, your cousins, all who are by blood. This will look like a small tree, or a large tree, depending on the size of the family. This list contains your bloodline, those that you have contact with and remember, because many know they are family, but don't know their names. So don't put it, put the ones you can with their full name. Very well, this is the basis of our work. From this list you place, make it like little houses, next to each one of those that you placed, and put the people who live in the same house. Then you won't be including family, it will be people who are not your blood. For example, your uncle's wife, your aunt's husband, your sister's husband, your brother's wife, your granddaughter's husband, your grandson's wife, and so on. These are not by blood, but live in the house of their relatives, so you put these little houses and the names of the people. So this was the first big list of the first procedure. There was the glass of water, which you made every night and drank at dawn, but this is over. This procedure has been terminated. Anyone who enters from now on will no longer do this procedure of drinking the water. Now the list, yes. This list that I just put together, talking about, you have to put together, because it will be the basis later on. So you have this task, to make this list. For this second procedure, which is ongoing now, that some have already started and others are yet to start, what is needed? I need the base of the list, that is, those who are only by blood. Then you will make this second list only with those of blood. They will place the candle on top and carry out the procedure, the second procedure, as explained in the previous video. So we are on that note, today we have two lists, one with bloodline relatives, and the other with bloodline relatives, plus those who live in their homes. Whoever enters now, this is what they have to do, nothing more. This video is for that explanation. So let's go into some details, my family is huge. I can't know everyone's name, don't put it on the list. The list for the second procedure is the forgiveness list, ah, but I don't know the name of the person I want to forgive. At the time of the procedure, think about the person, see it in your mind and you will reach it. Many are unable to ask for forgiveness in person. No problem. Ask by phone, by letter, whatever. What's important about that? You have to ask for forgiveness, without worrying, whether you will be forgiven or not. Because as soon as you ask for forgiveness, that connection of lovelessness that existed between you and the other person will be broken. You will be clean. 
Now if the other person hasn't forgiven you, it's no longer your problem. Then the problem is hers alone. In this case you will forgive a person. You will be getting rid of this feeling. Now, will the other person accept your forgiveness or not? It's not your problem. Do you understand? You are working you. It doesn't matter what the other person will feel, it doesn't matter what the other person will do, and neither of you will be angry at what the other will do, because otherwise it won't do any good. You have to understand the following, do your part. You are cleaning yourselves. The other is the other's problem. Everything you have done in this procedure, or will do, in this procedure of forgiveness, will act backwards, for your past incarnations, for those who have already passed away. So, understand the degree of cleaning you will be doing. Now my brothers, the following is very important, you are treating yourself, many declare that they have felt better, who became better people. This is wonderful. Now this forgiveness procedure, you asked for forgiveness, everything that had to be done was done. Then tomorrow you talk to that person and feel the same feeling again. Then, my brothers, it won't do any good. Then you may ask, Ah my archangel, I felt like it wasn't enough. Do it again. Do it as many times as necessary. Do it, because every time you do it, you will become more and more stronger. Those who were unable to obtain the appropriate material may have more time to purchase. So, I will not start the third procedure for now. It'll give you some time. Many doubts will arise, many doubts are arising, and I want to be next to each one of you at this moment, because this procedure is very important, because look at the amount of low vibration feelings you are sending away, are many. Then you will feel how good it is to get rid of them. So if there is still anything left, do it again, do it as many times as you want, there is no problem. And the most important thing in all of this, if you felt that it wasn't enough, or that the other person didn't forgive you, or didn't accept being forgiven, when you redo the procedure, this acts on the other person again, and they will also feel better. Freeing from it. You can start the next one as long as you've done this one, but if you want to keep repeating it, there's no problem starting the next one, as long as you do this one once, you can do the next one. Anyone who thinks they don't want to do this, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm not in the mood to forgive. Perfect, it's your decision. Ah, but I'll do the next one. Can. I can't stop you from doing it, I'm just going to tell you this, it won't do any good, because with your heart, full of these feelings, the third procedure will not work on you. Then you will be wasting your time. I will not extend myself any further, my brothers. We have a period now of the weekend where many of you will do it again, others will start the second procedure, others will start to make the list from the first one. It doesn't matter, they'll give you this time. So this weekend, it will be for you to organize your procedures, organize your lists, clean them up, because there are some that are a mess. This is funny. So, come clean, organize the houses. This will be very important down the road. I'm not going to say why the houses are there yet, but this will be essential in the future. So leave it ready. Organize. Make a sheet for each house, buy a notebook, put the members of each house on a sheet of paper. This one is my relative, in the first line your relative. Who lives with him? Make a list of who lives with him. On the other page, this is my relative, who lives with him. Make a list of who lives with him and that's how you organize it. Tomorrow you remember someone else, or receive someone else's name, you put it there, and you organize it. It will be very important, my brothers, for you to build the houses, who lives in the houses. Then that's it. Do the second procedure. Forgive yourselves. Remember, you have to forgive yourself too. Are you just asking for forgiveness and forgiving others? Your name must be first on the list. I hadn't said this yesterday, but you have to forgive yourselves too. So your name has to be the first on the list, and do the procedure. 
As I said yesterday, whoever doesn't find the blue candle, do it with a white candle, do it with whatever candle you can, the important thing is to do it. If you can't find a small candle, use a large candle, the important thing is to do it. Then you will have time. You can do it over the weekend. You can do it later. There's no problem as long as they do it at least once, before the third procedure. Anyone who does it once can follow the third procedure. Ah, my archangel, but I didn't give my name. No problem. The fact that you forgive yourself is not a prerequisite for doing the third. I'm just making one more suggestion. Realize, you will still remember a lot of people, they will put it on the list. After a while, you do it again. That is great, it is liberating, brings lightness, brings peace, brings love into their hearts, much love. So do it slowly, do it little by little. Prepare accordingly. Buy the correct candle. No problem. There will be no time limit to carry out this second procedure. I'll repeat it again, but only do the third one if you've done the second one at least once. So my brothers, I hope that with this video I have answered as many doubts as possible. Mainly for those who are arriving today, to understand. So get organized, put together your lists calmly, with love, you will remember people you haven't remembered yet, because there are so many people, that sometimes you forget. Then there are those who say, but I have no one to forgive or ask for forgiveness. How wonderful! So you have already completed the second procedure. You've already done your part, it has already fulfilled its role, what had to be forgiven back then was forgiven. Ah, but I want to do it again. There is no problem. Do it as many times as you want. So I tell you, do it again by forgiving yourself. That will be good. Put just you on the list, and forgive yourself. You have a lot to forgive. You all have. So, do it. Just put yourselves on the list, and forgive yourselves. Of course, I am observing the hearts of all of you, and then I will say here, what I noticed from this whole result, of what you are doing. I am Archangel Michael. And I'm very, very happy to see that all of you are trusting my words and are looking to expand on them, and to get other people to accept them. I'll even make a small aside here. Many are suffering, because they try to express their ideas, and those around them do not accept them. They criticize them, they laugh, they make fun of them, they call them crazy, some are even turning their backs. I just tell you this, awakening is not for everyone. I've already said this in some previous videos, and I'll say it again, not everyone will awaken. But very soon, a lot will start to appear. Things that you now know and accept and that they laugh about will begin to appear. And then do you know who they will turn to? To you. Many will not give you the pleasure of admitting they are wrong, that they were wrong, and they will try to fend for themselves to understand what is happening. Others will humbly say, you were right and I didn't pay any attention to you. Help me understand all this, and you can help. So my brothers, you who are here following my messages, and around you there are people who still do not accept what you say, wait a little longer. Don't be discouraged. Wait a little longer, and you will see these people come running to you, because they will know that they can count on you to help them. Is this not your mission? I love you all, regardless of the choice you each make. Only those whose hearts shine with the purest unconditional love will be the ones I will lend my hand to and personally take to the fifth dimension.